Hey, I'm JC. Uh, I recently wrote an article uh, called Headless WordPress with React. Um, you may have seen it, you may have not. Either way, uh, I wanted to make a video series for this tutorial that I wrote just in case um, any of you guys uh, were uh, would prefer to follow along with a video instead of following along with an article. I know everyone kind of learns differently, and so that's uh, basically that's what I wanted to do. Um, this is going to be an exact, uh, you know, follow through or kind of an exact walkthrough of the same tutorial. So if you've already done the tutorial, you're not going to get most likely not going to get any other value out of this unless there was something you didn't really understand. Um, maybe I'll talk through it a little bit more in depth or something. But as far as what the finished product and the steps to get there, it's going to be pretty much identical. So if you've already done this tutorial, you can just turn this off and, and not worry about it. Um, but uh, anyway, if you would prefer to follow along with the t with a tutorial instead of a video, if you found this video first with, and you haven't heard of the article, you can go to my Medium profile, uh, medium.com slash at JC Hyatt. That's with two T's. Um, and you can follow along there. So uh, lots of ways to do it. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what we're going to be building. And first, just to give you a little background, uh, the WordPress REST API started as a project at the Google Summer of Code in 2013. And over the past few years, it has um, a, a lot of smart people have rallied around it and have made it um, uh, a well, now an integrated part of WordPress. So uh, the REST API actually got uh, started getting merged into WordPress core in 2015. And then as of December 6, 2016, it is uh, pretty much fully merged into core now. So in December, millions of APIs just went online, which is pretty cool. Um, so just because uh, site owners were using WordPress and they updated to WordPress 4.7, um, they just, because they're inherently, they're using WordPress, they inherently got uh, data portability without having to do anything but update their uh, platform, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of site owners may not realize that that's pretty cool, but either way, it's pretty cool. Um, so uh, basically, in a gist, or the gist of it, the WordPress REST API is a way to interact with the WordPress database outside of WordPress. So you can actually begin to use WordPress as an application framework um, or, or even just like kind of a data layer, but use it as the backend data source of your application to power multiple front ends. You can power multiple websites with the same WordPress database. You can power um, uh, also mobile apps. You can power, uh, I don't know, like uh, anything you can think of that can consume an API. Um, so that's why uh, this is really exciting. Uh, this is definitely the direction WordPress is headed, um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it myself. So um, first off, if you aren't familiar with WordPress, you may be saying, like, well, why on WordPress? So you, know, you may say, I thought that was a blogging platform. Why, are we, why is this a conversation? Well, uh, there might be some misconceptions there that you, that you have. Um, WordPress did start off as pretty much a blogging platform, but it has over the years evolved into a full-on content management system. Um, there's really, really big sites out there that are using WordPress. Um, and as of November 2016, it now powers 27% of the web. And so uh, that's a huge number of sites. Now, there's lots of reasons why it may power 27% of the web. One is it's super easy to install. It's super easy to host. Um, it's just a traditional LAMP stack. It doesn't consume much memory or anything to run a basic WordPress site. And, uh, and also it's really user friendly. So, um, people can get started with a, having a digital presence of some sort without having to know how to code, um, which is actually pretty incredible. Um, and, uh, and creates lots of possibilities for businesses of all sizes, but especially small businesses just starting off. So pretty cool. Um, so that's why WordPress is important. Um, if you want a really cool example of, uh, of the WordPress REST API in action and a big name using WordPress, actually go look at the MBA stats site. That uh, API, that actually, that whole site and the API is entirely WordPress. So uh, pretty sweet stuff. Um, also with React, you've probably heard of React by now. Um, it's 
a few years old, started uh, at Facebook, and Facebook is kind of the, um, I guess, the owner of the project, but um, it's a JavaScript library for user interfaces, and it's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. It's a very popular. Um, we're going to be using Create React app, which is actually a something that the community came, or, came together and um, they built this to make it easier to get started with React because um, React itself is pretty easy, but if you aren't using something like Create React app to generate a lot of boilerplate stuff for you um, and kind of do some magic hand waving for you, you're going to have to also learn uh, ES6 and Webpack and Babel and um, a lot, lots of other stuff that it, that can result in you getting very overwhelmed if you are not um, ready for it or if you just don't have the time to kind of do all that at once. Um, so Create React App lets you get started with React itself and then when you're ready to um, when you're ready to take it to the next level and learn some other things like Webpack, you can eject and then it will give you full control over all your configuration and everything so that you can kind of take your learning to the next level. Uh, just a quick overview of what we're going to be building. Um, here it is. It's a basic, uh, unstyled, forgive me, but for basic app to consume a WordPress API that's got a lot of uh, data about each of the Star Wars movies. So. We've got a title, a release year, a rating, and a description, and a featured image for each movie. And this is actually a React application. Um, this is the uh, source right here. And I'll move that over to the side so you can see it. And uh, that's actually the entire app, but basically the whole app right there in that file. And it's uh, consuming a WordPress API, which you can see here. I've got, um, we've got a movie pulled up right here, episode seven. Um, but I've got all these movies here, and this uh, WordPress installation is feeding all the data to React. Um, and the two are completely decoupled. The, this React app is not inside WordPress at all. It's not a theme. It's nothing you can... Um, this React app can be taken uh, anywhere. You know, it, it can be dropped on to another server or something like that without WordPress ever having to go anywhere. So. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is what we're going to be building, and I'll see you in the next video.